Hey YouTube, I'm back with another package and pickups video. Um, mixed bag today. Uh, car boot, charity shop, local adverts, uh, forums, all sorts of bits and bats. Um, actually, a load of stuff. Good lord. Um, this could take a little while. I'll try and move through them as fast as possible because, um, yeah, don't want these videos to be dragging on too long. So anyway, first up, where will I start? I'll start with the forum one because it's. The most it's the most retro. So for Metro Collect, um, there's a guy up there called Joker Jur, something like that, um, and he had uh, a bunch of N64 games for sale. So picked up a few, all in pretty tasty condition, which is hard to get for N64 games. So we'll start with well, we'll start with the worst of the games, um, notoriously uh, poor both in quality and in terms of. Oh, intentionally trying to stir up controversy for a poor game. I guess that's what you could call it. I, I remember um, N64 magazine back in the day. They used to kind of make fun of it quite a bit uh, about it's, it's, it, how bad it was. Not as bad as Superman 64, uh, which they made fun of a lot too. But uh, yeah, definitely down towards that uh, region in, in terms of quality. And... Uh, my hand was kind of raising up, so it's like, you've been speaking too long, so my hand was like, it is Carmageddon, 64. Yeah, run over pedestrians, mow them down, and all that good stuff. 30 stunning levels, 20 opponents to chase and waste, a feast of formidable power-ups, hilarious polygon, polygons, <laughs> zombies, that's what you're running over, it's zombies, not pedestrians. The year is 2026. The race to Carmageddon. Hold on to your body parts and take part in a smash and trash racing experience. So, I don't know if you can see if I come out on camera, but the font on that is so sm so kind of blurred together. It's actually kind of hard to read. And um, yeah, while I was reading that, I kind of didn't really show it, but it's in very nice condition. I'm not going to start opening the insides of these, but they're all complete and they're all in tip-top shape. Um, pretty much, I mean, they're like new condition. Little fusty, but other than that. So, he, most of his games are in top shape, and certainly they are as described. Um, I, f I didn't realise at the time, but I kind of, in a, kind of subconsciously, bought a lot of racing games, or games that feature racing elements. Um, this is probably both the weakest in terms of condition, and a bit of a dull when I realized I had bought the wrong one. But, yeah. This is, the, of course, when you're in the PAL region, you do have to pay attention to it from time to time. I tend to not pay attention to it, and it usually works out okay, but every once in a while you end up with foreign language, and this is what happened here, which, um, 1080 snowboarding. And I didn't check it, although it was correctly listed, it was my own fault. It is uh, text, texte écran en français et en anglais. So the on screen text is in English, I think, because I think that basically means on screen text in French and in English! Exclamation. But this is the French version. Um, so all the box at the back there is in French, and the manual is in French. But however, it's in pretty decent nick. There's a little shelf wear up at the corners. And there's a little, um, there's some marks there, actually, I'm going to have to try and clean off. But other than that, it's it's pretty good, and all the insides are there, baggy and everything. Um, yeah. One of the N64 games that I missed by Nintendo, and wanted to get in the collection. It looked like it was pretty good fun, too, from, from the few times I have either seen it or played it. So, yeah, even though it's French, I'll hang on to it for now. Might try and replace it with the English version, because, you know, I don't speak French as demonstrated. Um, so, anyway, moving on. Another um, another racing game, because as I said, that was a team. This one, thankfully, is definitely in English. Um, and it had been... It was a late release that got pretty good reviews in the magazines at the time. i I'd actually never seen it around, but it was one that I was always interested in. And I have to say, this one is in absolutely spanking condition. It is top. It is Excite Bike 64, and as you can see, there is not a mark. Well, I hope you can see. 
there is not a mark on this thing really it is perfect and inside's the same there's the odd little you know shelf kind of mark there but like after saying there's not a mark on it <laughs> but it's really i mean the box is so structurally sound everything is perfect it's yeah can't go wrong and it's in english woohoo so want to get some serious hair uh, then check out excite by 64 this one also i think has excite I think it has the original Excite by Hidden or as an unlockable or something in this. It got great reviews back in the day, and you know, I I always felt that N64 was quite good at racing games. Yeah, things like F Zero and this and Wipeout, and now my mind's gone blank after saying it was really good at racing games. Uh, Mario Kart, Diddy Kong Racing. Apparently, it was good at kart racers and futuristic racers, um, but not so good at the simulations. No Gran Turismo. Anyway. Speaking of racing games, um, <laughs> and a pseudo follow-up to, to Diddy Kong Racing, so those in the know will, will, will pretty much uh, know immediately, it is uh, Mickey Speedway USA. So one of the final games by Rare on the system, again in very nice condition. So it's all complete again, I'm not going to open up a little, you know, a few marks, shelf marks, whatever. could do a little layering, but other than that, it's, it's as I said, pretty top. Um, buckle up and get ready to race. Yeah, this was, I think it's sort of based on the Diddy Kong Racing engine, and it, definitely when I looked in the magazines, they kind of described it in that manner. Now maybe that was just lazy journalism. I've never played it, so I don't know. The graphics do look very good for a late release. Uh, well, near the edge you'd expect from Rare. You know, with Banjo, Conquer, Perfect Dark. They were really getting the best out of the system by the end, and it looks like Mickey Speedway is, is no different. Um, doesn't the, command the prices to, uh, uh, of Conqueror Banjo, thankfully, although I don't think it's sold that well for what, you know, I guess 2000, N64 is starting to come to, to the end of its lifespan, but yeah, definitely, I want to get the rare games, so definitely was glad to get that in. So that's four N64 games. I haven't been very, you know, Nintendo heavy off late, you know, a lot of Sega focus, but sure, it's a collection I'll get around to improving. Now, anyway, moving on, where to next? Because there's bits and bats everywhere. Um, do, 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 do. I guess this one's right in front of me, so I'll do this one. It is a bunch of DS games, oh, sticking on the Nintendo theme, that I got from a local listing. These were seven euros each, and they're all complete and in great condition. Um, kind of pricey for me to pay for second hand for somewhat new games, but uh, they're they're a genre that I think will hold their value. Um, but anyway, moving on. It's uh, first up is Dragon Quest Nine Sentinel Sentinels of the Starry Skies. So completion, whatnot. Uh, of course, with DS games, you know it's it's easy to keep them better condition. You know, Dragon. This is meant to be an absolutely great RPG and looking at screenshots it seems to have done a great job on um, uh, getting the most out of the, of the uh, uh, go and say Nintendo 64 have it on the brain now of the DS uh, next up we have Kingdom Hearts 358 divided by two days or whatever the hell that's called uh, I have a soft spot for the Kingdom Hearts games again even though I'm not a massive RPG guy so complete uh, but yeah the Kingdom Hearts games tend to hold their value and finally, RPG again, it's Golden Sun something something, Dark Dawn. Yeah, I should really look at it before I show them. And it's complete, and as the box said on the front cover, manual, or manual included, it's uh, got a map. So here's the paper map, and I'll probably make a complete hames of this, because whenever I open these maps, I can never get them back in again. So there we go. So on the first side it's got the world map and the second side it's kind of got character classes and progression. I wish more games still did this. I, I always like these little extras. It helps you draw you into the world. Uh, I don't know who I was talking to about it recently. But uh, Rockstar Games are usually one of the few companies that really go that extra mile and, and make their manuals worthwhile. Make it part of the experience. When you do that, it's totally worth it. Ooh, it's getting kind of dark. I hope I'm not gone completely shadowy like Tony did our time around. Um, now, what next? Do, 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 do. Looking around for the most appropriate... Okay. 
I guess I'll do the car boot then because um, there's not much to show on that. So after having some good runs at the car boots, the last one I went to, oh, it was just the eBay center, you know, again. Playing more games than I've probably seen in a long while, but and I thought, great, jackpot. Seen a person with a load of kind of Nintendo stuff and Sony stuff and whatnot. I'm going to move these because they're getting in my way. Um, but when I asked her about the, the games, she said, PlayStation 2 stuff, 2 euros. So, no, that's not too bad. I started rooting through them. Then I copped, um, they had uh, some box N64 games. The first one was like fairly beaten up and it was a Formula 1 game, so I said, I'll pass on that. But then they had a box copy of Zelda. That was a decent nick. Um, I'm not really in the market for one because I own it, boxed, but someone who shall remain nameless sat on my box so it's not in the best shape. It was, to be fair, the one that was there wasn't that much better, but I thought I'd ask. So she said st said to me, oh, now that one, that's hard to find. That, you know, oh, that's rare, you know, oh, you can't get that anymore. I was like, well, you can't get any of these anymore. What are you talking about? And she said, oh, no, but that one you can't get, you can't go into a shop and get that. You know, and that, that's rare. And I said, but they sold 7 million copies of it. It's one of the most plentiful games on the N64. So, anyway, she said, I said, well, how much is it? Or how much are you looking for? And she goes, oh, couldn't do it less than 35. You know, and that's that's what they're looking for on eBay, you know. Oh, that's, that's the going rate. And I was, as soon as they started going on about eBay, I was like, good day. I've been over before, but you don't go to car boot to pay eBay prices. With eBay... You have buyer protection. As a seller, you have to take the hit on each item in terms of uh, you know charges and, and whatnot. Now, there's a charge to enter the car boot, but that's one for everything. eBay, those charges can seriously add up. So, um, you know, if, if you're only going to get eBay prices, then I'm going to eBay. What the hell? And so, I did, at that stage, I wasn't even interested in, in, in dealing with her and her other stuff. So, I just was like, put this stuff down and was like, fine wandered off. And to be fair, there was there was nothing that great other than that anyway. So, uh, I did find where is it? Two... There's one. Gotta be careful so I don't knock the camera off. Two modern games. Careful. Um, there was actually a bunch of them, but I had most of them. Bar these two. Um, the first one was Prince of Persia The Forgotten Sands. Yeah. Oh, that one. That one's complete. Interesting. I thought it wasn't. What made me think that? And the second one was Max Payne 3. Damn, the light's all over the place. Oh, this is a two-disc game. Woo! So, I asked how much were the games. And there was a kid there with a, with a mum, and they hadn't been setting up very long. It was kind of unusual for me. It was the start of the caboose. Ooh, crazy. And they said, or he's he kind of they chat between them and, and then they said three euros each so I just said do you do two for five you know it's a car boot Joey's got a haggle and you know, the kid was like oh yeah 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 yeah, no problem so I was like grand I went to get the money and paid up and went you know I was going on my way and I could hear then and you know oh you, you you're giving them away too easily. <laughs> Same, you know, they were like forty quid when, when you know, you paid eighty for the two of them and you gave them away for five. It was like it was only a euro. <laughs> he said to the, to the mum. It's like good lord. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, it was only a euro. It was in a car boot. If you wanted more, could have asked for more. You kind of expect multi buys. But anyway, felt a bit bad for the kid then. Not bad enough, mind you, to go back and um, and give him a euro, but. A little bit bad. And there was another person selling uh, those Game Boy Advance chargers that I missing the top off, and they wanted a fiver. I just said, to be honest, that's kind of pricey. You know, I'd be expecting to get the bloody console for, <laughs> for that much. So, you know, to be fair, she said she was still learning about the pricings and whatnot. But, yeah, I passed on that anyway. But, so that was the car boot. Not too much. Only the eBay thing to really kind of, you know, irk me. But I'm going to have to kind of move about for some of the other stuff. In GameStop, I picked up a couple of bits. A couple of collector's items. Very nice ones, actually. And I'm going to have to sit back for this. The first was Bioshock 2. Um, it's got a bunch of stuff in the back. 
I'm not going to open up because, as I said, the camera is kind of close and whatnot. But it has a kind of a, a cool collector's box on the inside with this kind of blot pin. Kind of like a blot print style butterfly. It makes me think of the butterfly effect artwork, actually. Um, an art book, which looks pretty nice. Uh, a vinyl, which is a really cool uh, way to, to give a soundtrack. Um, of the, it's actually off the soundtrack of the original Bioshock. And then an audio CD with the Bioshock 2 soundtrack. And then three um, vintage advertisement posters. So that was pretty cool. Oh, and the game. That was 18 quid. So I was very happy with that. Okay, I've written what I don't want you. And another one. This was more expensive. Half an opened yet. It was this was thirty. It's Assassin's Creed Three. So this is the what is it? Freedom? Yeah, the Freedom Edition, which apparently contains a steel book, the collector's box, which is this, a figurine, and a notebook. George Washington's notebook. So a nice big pack. So they were basically trying to sell off some of their collector sets for basically this year's collector sets. So I'm a fan of Assassin's Creed. I figured. Why not pick it up? Unfortunately, they weren't selling off uh, Assassin's Creed Revelation. That was still 50 for whatever reason. But anyway, that's <clears throat> that's GameStop. We have... guess we'll do Charity Shop next. Um, picked up a bundle of things. First was this guidebook, which was 2 euros. Uh, never played the game. Was it L A Noir? Uh, but after flicking through this book, to be honest, it sounds pretty cool. I've heard mixed. You know, some people thought it was a, you know a bit of a letdown, but it certainly sounds like a pretty nice concept. I'm definitely gonna keep my eye open for the game. But yeah, two euros on that. Over there you go. And uh, where's that thing gone? And then they had a, a bunch of they had a bunch of Wii stuff. Uh, the first up was Iron Man 2, which is complete. Uh, Marvel something something squad. Superhero squad. Didn't realise they were it's actually complete but the manual's behind the warranty thing. And SSX Blur, which is again, I think, complete. Yep. And now that I think of it, they were all two euros each. Uh, I'm not going to get it because it's way over there. Um, they also had uh, Wii Fit Plus for a euro, so I picked that up. The disc on that one's a bit scratch, but meh. Hopefully it'll work. So they were two euros each. There. And then I, I was just about to leave when I realized that they happened to have. Uh, I just had a corner of my eye. I caught a glimpse of the Telltale PlayStation One boxes, and it was when I looked around to it. It was it was a game I didn't have, even though it sold super well and very popular and common. Well, popular and common, whatever. Uh, it's it's Colin McRae Valley. So when I seen one, I figured there might be more, and sure enough, I dug through the war. This one even comes with um, a map or something. Sorry, not a map, uh, a poster. I'm not going to unfold that one because. I've done one. I've done one on camera already. Isn't that enough? Yes. So there was one. Next up then there was Siphon Filter 2. Uh, which is complete as well. Then they had uh, Tomb Raider. Not complete, just a disc. But that's the double box thing edition. Which, I don't know. Why did that come out that way? What's what's with because I mean you can get to Tomb Raider one I think in stand certainly I think you can get it in a standard PlayStation box I know I've I've the classic re-release you know the platinum thing and that's in a standard box so maybe the original one came in a double CD case I don't know if you let, if you know let me know in the comments below 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 good lord it's one of those days but the final two games were probably the ones I was most interested in and that. Uh, first was Driver 2, Back on the Streets. Again, complete. It's a two-disc one as well. And the discs are in pretty good condition. 
and amazingly the boxes are in good condition hallelujah um, this is the only one that's got a kind of damaged box but it's uh, I've ne funny enough I've never seen, seen the first one of these around locally and I think that's the more common one this one it's a little more uncommon don't think it's massively valued by any means but uh, yeah I was very happy to pick it up because I always wanted to play the first one but I don't know is this follows on in the same manner or whatever it's done by Crystal Dynamics so should be pretty good um, it's Pandemonium 2 as I said sequel and uh, this one's one disc or, oh, 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 falling out and it's uh, complete as well and uh, other than a crack on the the case there it's it's fine so oh I don't have a with me there's a story to go with these when I was in the queue I actually bought the things in, in multiple lots the first one the Wii stuff um, off the guy uh, that was working in the charity shop and he recognized me when he seen me with the, the PlayStation games in the stack and I was waiting for the queue but he wasn't on the till at the time so he said to me oh we have a we have a memory card for the PlayStation 1 do you want that and I said well how much is it and he said oh no you can just have it I was like sure if you're just gonna give it to me and he said well there's there's like there's a controller and all that as well do, do you want you know that too and I was like yeah if it's free I'll take it. Um, so, at the upshot, I said, well, have you, I seen the system then. I said, oh, is it, are you selling the system or what is it? Oh, no, that's what I was going to say. You can have you can have that because we can't sell it. I was like, well, if you, if you just want to give it to me, I'll take it. Um, so he went to get it out from where it was, and the woman behind the counter went, no, oh, no, 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 you can't do that. And he was like, why not? He said, we, we can't sell it. We can't sell it. I was like, but I'm not selling it. He said, it's it's electronics. We can't sell electronics. I was like, but but it's free. You know, it's 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 not. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to give it away. You know. So you know, instead of throwing it in the bin, and she no 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 can't do that can't do that. So she took it back, took it all back, and and put it back in the bin. And I was when I got up to pay for the stuff. I said, well, I I know you can't sell it, but if you're just going to bin it, can I like take it out of the bin and take it away with me? Oh, no, 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 can't do that, can't do that. So, you know, completely silly. So, I, uh, while I was chatting to her, your man went in, and at the very, he, he yanked the memory card, slicked into his pocket, wandered around the store, and then I met him after paying for the games, up at the door, and he hands me the memory card, and you know, I said, sorry about that, just being a bit silly, really. I mean, it's just going to go to waste. But, I don't know. I know they can't sell those things, there's legal reasons behind it all, but it's just going in the bin. But anyway, those PlayStation games, they were a euro each. So, yeah, I, was, I paid that all day long when they're in nice condition like that. And don't worry, the PlayStation 1 was incredibly popular. I don't see games for it that much. But anyway, onwards, onwards, onwards. A couple from CX. Uh, these, these, were just, these were a couple of euros each. Uh, Xbox ones. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. That's complete, and what is it? The Hunter, Hunter, the Reckoning, the Redeeming, yeah, whatever. These are two euros each. Got them on credit as well, so yeah. I, I just this was actually kind of a case of just picking stuff up that was cheap, and I thought the cover looked interesting. You know, it was, it was almost like being back in back as a kid where you you bought based on the cover. So that was that was a CX lot. We've do 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 do. Uh, yeah, so just one more, one more lot, and this is this was another local advertisement that I picked up, and I picked up these for fifteen euros. Um, first one has no cover, but it is here we go. There are a bunch of largely GameCube games because it says Crazy Taxi on the GameCube. So as I said, it's complete bar the insert. So if someone wants this, I already have a complete one. Let me know. Maybe we can do something. Um, there <clears throat> and next up we have FIFA football fluid football 2005 which is incomplete this one is also up for trade because for whatever strange reason the person had two and this one is complete so that one will go into the collection <clears throat> I wasn't really you know I mean those games were just uh, also rounds I guess you know just there it was the next slot well no I'll get the one oddity out of the way I this wasn't even mentioned 
but it was in the bag that I got, so I, I guess I'll take it. It's um, FIFA 08 on PC. You know, and this one is complete. Woohoo! Yeah, so yeah, obviously it's not worth much, it's Viva, but yeah, I'll take it. So the, the next slot are, um, are the main ones that I was after. Uh, I say that, but there's one more I happen to have, but I figure this is a good trader, because um, it's worth a few quid. It's a Star Wars Rebel Strike. Uh, you know, it's a cracking game, I already have it, so yeah. And it's, it's completion, pretty decent nick. So yeah, as I said, I can trade this away or something. So, these ones, I swear to God, these ones are the ones I was getting for the collection. And the one that I was most interested in was uh, Dragon's Lair 3D. Um, for those who don't know, Dragon's Lair was this kind of laser disc animated game by Don Belush. Uh, you were really just kind of, it's like quick time events. Whereas this one, I think you might actually control Dirk Daring. Um, Sounds interesting, and I definitely want to try this one out. This is one of the games I was on the lookout for in general on, I think it's on Xbox or GameCube. So, I, when I seen it on the listing, I was definitely interested to get that. Um, <clears throat> next, we have Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. It is, it is also complete, in pretty good condition. It mentions the back DVD content, exclusive Adema Immortal music video, behind the scenes making of Deadly Alliance, the history of Mortal Kombat. Was there meant to be a DVD with this, or is it on the on the game disc? I don't know, because like the GameCube doesn't have a DVD drive, so uh, maybe this is incomplete. If you know, let me know. And um, cracking game, common but cracking, it's Burnout, the best Nintendo racer for ages. Nintendo Magazine. So, complete with some GameStop PO bloody game, or not games, but game, game love do knows, why didn't they, cook, why couldn't they put them in a baggie, and just put P.O. on the baggie, instead of on the games, Grr. this one I'd never even heard of, and they mentioned it when I picked it up, I said, oh this one's a bit uncommon, this one's kind of hard to get in the English version, I was like, okay, whatever, <laughs> I don't think, no, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, it's Samurai Jack, The Legend of Aku, so it's some Cartoon Network thing, it's complete, um, could be decent. I've, as I said, I've never heard of it, so if you know anything about it, let me know. Um, this one, I think it's the only one non-complete one. It's Prince of Persia, The Warrior Within. I think I have this on... Do, 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 do. Careful. Oh, that was no. I think I might have this on the Xbox. Yeah, I have it on the Xbox, and I have, of course, got the trilogy on... Oh, don't do that. Now I've got to hold my hand up there. Games are falling. I. I have a trilogy on the PlayStation 2. So, I'll keep this one for the moment, but, um, yeah. Not required, I guess you could say. And then finally, finishing off the deal, we have uh, Pool Paradise. Jimmy White's, uh, well, no. I was going to say Jimmy White's Pool Paradise. It's not, because it was Jimmy White's Snooker. But it was just Pool Paradise, endorsed by Jimmy White. And it was an Archer McLean Presents Pool Paradise. So there we go. I will actually this is also complete. Finally got those things to sort of stand. Also <laughs> Or did I? No, I didn't. I'm gonna hold this now. That was so gonna happen, wasn't it? So yeah, um Editing, I should edit that out, but I won't. I want my first Megadove game was Timmy White Snooker. So I definitely want to, to get that at some point. Again, it's a cheapy title. But it kind of bundled them together. There was about 11 titles there. A couple of traders. But for 15 euros, I was happy. Now one other item, modern, that was being blocked that I'll, I'll also show. It is this. And I'll go behind camera so I can see what I'm doing. It is God of War Ascension. Uh, this is the, the collector's edition. So you have the Kratos statue. You have God of War Ascension side thing, and on the back then you have the, the steel box. It's a bit disappointing that even though it comes with a soundtrack, uh, there's a side, even though it comes with a soundtrack, that's what they listed, it's, it's all DLC, so you know, no physical product. But anyway, 
there we go. So, as I said, a few kind of collector's editions. And Kratos is now falling over too. This is the episode where everything falls over. Whoa, I'm the god of war. But now I can't stand. But anyway, um, with that, I think it's definitely time to leave it. And we'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.